search for good entertainment. Critic discretion is advised. So the season of blockbusters has finally kicked off with what is probably one of the most anticipated movies of the year. You know what that means. Avengers Assemble! <laughs> the Avengers Age of Ultron. So do you guys like my shirt? I actually wore this when I went to go see the movie. It has all the Avengers on it. Not the new characters, of course, but Iron Man, the Hulk, Captain America, and Thor. I love this shirt so much, even though it, it's kind of tight. <laughs> so Age of Ultron is a sequel to the 2012 blockbuster hit The Avengers, and is supposedly the second installment in a three-part trilogy. Don't kill the messenger! That's what I heard. And in Age of Ultron, the Avengers have become literal celebrities after defeating the alien race from the last movie and are trying to eliminate the rest of Hydra. But after one chick who has psychic abilities, I actually don't know her name, but she places an idea inside Tony Stark's head and he builds a supercomputer which evolves to become Ultron. And as I was watching this film, I kept thinking to myself, this is awesome. This is why I go see movies. Everything is awesome. This was 2015. That movie came out in 2014. There's an action scene at the beginning of the film where we see all the Avengers kicking ass. But that scene sticks out in my mind because the camera will pan from one member of the team to another as they're launching their attack toward Hydra. We see each member taking out guys one by one and then the camera pans one last time to this slow motion shot of all the Avengers together marching forward. And in that moment, I thought, this is so beautiful, it's like poetry. Yes. At the same time though, I felt like I'd seen this before quite a few times. And if anything, Age of Ultron doesn't have that refreshing feeling of originality that the first movie did. It's trying to build upon arguably the best Marvel film ever made. Everything has to be bigger and better, but there's only so much you can do before you cross that line between a good action movie and Michael Bay shit. So it goes without saying that the action and the special effects offer audiences with more than enough exciting entertainment. This entry, however, surprised me with how much humor and emotion that was added to the mixture. There were one or two scenes that I almost started crying, and I just didn't expect that. Almost being the key word. I was also impressed with the main villain. Ultron has a huge amount of personality and depth to his character. And he is probably one of the best Marvel villains ever. I was worried the Age of Ultron was just going to retread the first film. And in some ways it does. Nonetheless, it's a strong addition to the Marvel Cinematic Universe. And is by far one of the best movies of the summer. I'm going to go ahead and give The Avengers Age of Ultron a 4.5 out of 5. So have you seen Age of Ultron? Did you see it? What did you think about it? Whatever you think, comment below. Let me know. And if you enjoyed this video, punch that like button. And I'll see you guys next time on Preview Review. Thanks for watching.